get you some. Oh, yeah. Mate, it's lucky she can cook. Wow. G'day, lovelies. Welcome back. I hope everybody is staying safe in this crazy weather we've got going on at the moment. Well, being a typical winter's day, I thought it would be a great day to make a nice, hot, savoury muffin. I'll write the recipe below as always. All right, first thing we need to do is preheat our ovens to 190 degrees Celsius. We need a 12 hole muffin tin. We want to put a little bit of butter or margarine in each hole and then rub it all around. Once we've done that, we just want to put a little bit of plain flour in each hole. Then you want to take it over to your sink and you want to turn it all the way around and as you turn it around, it coats all of the flour uh, it coats all the butter with the flour and then once you've turned it all around and you've got it all coated you want to get it and bang it on the edge of your sink and knock out all the excess flour so what we need first is a large bowl with two and a quarter cups of self-raising flour in there now for the first time in a long time I don't have any self-raising flour so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn plain flour into self-raising flour. Okay, so if you've got your self-raising, you're fine. You've got your two and a quarter cups in there. You're done, ready to move on, okay? If you don't, I've got two and a quarter cups of plain flour in there. Now to turn it into self-raising flour, you need baking powder. And it's one teaspoon of baking powder to one cup of plain flour. So I'm going to put two and a quarter teaspoons of baking powder in there. And now with a fork, I'm going to mix that through properly and I have now got two and a quarter cups of self-raising flour. Once we've done that, we now want to get 50 grams of chopped butter and with our fingertips, we want to squeeze it into the flour and keep squeezing it in all over until you can't see the butter anymore. Once we've done that, we want to add one and a half tablespoons of caster sugar, three teaspoons of dry mustard, now we need three teaspoons of dried chives. If you are lucky enough to have fresh chives, I would chop two tablespoons and put them in there. Now we want to add three quarters of a cup of grated cheese. Now you can use any cheese you want. Today I've got real pizza cheese, so that's the one I'm using. Um, but like I said, any grated cheese you've got will do. You can even use parmesan if you wanted. So three quarters of a cup, in that goes. All right, we'll just mix that through gently. All right, once we've mixed that through, put a hole in the bottom. One cup of milk. One egg. And optional, you can have one clove of crushed garlic or one heap teaspoon of jar garlic. You don't have to put that in there, it's optional, but it's bloody yummy. Okay, mix the egg through first with the garlic. Okay, now we just wanna gently mix it in until it's all just mixed through. Okay, once all our dry ingredients are wet, <laughs> grab our muffin tin. All right, now we want to fill them up. Now you can have them plain, but what I'm going to do is stuff a couple with cheese, just to show you you can stuff them with anything you want as well. So I'm just going to put one spoonful. I'll do that anyway. I'll just go buy a normal spoon in each one and then keep going so you can get them all as roughly as even as you want. But I'm just going to put one spoon in first. I'm just going to stuff these three on the end because they're yummy when you're going to have a few hot right there and then to have them stuffed with the cheese. And then the... Um, they're beautiful plain with the butter as well and they're obviously they're no good to eat cold because the cheese will all be hard in them so if you're going to have some fresh whack some cheese in them and the rest of them will eat plain okay so to stuff them I'm just going to spread that out now sometimes I would use my faithful cheddar cheese absolutely love it I would cut it in cubes and stick a cube in each one but because I've only got a half a block I want to save it for another recipe now if you can afford mozzarella or something oh a little block of that in there amazing but I have got mozzarella grated cheese so what I'm going to try and do I was thinking of this earlier instead of if you don't have any 
block cheese. I'm going to grab a bit, just a, a pinch full. Are you in camera? I'm just going to see if I can squeeze it together or not. Like, if you had proper mozzarella, <laughs> you'd be able to squeeze it together. Another way to do this easier too is leave the cheese out for a little while, then it's really easy to do it with. Alright, next ball whip. Okay, so we'll stuff those three. And then just, I'm going to get a little bit of mix and put it on the top and cover it over. Just push it around it. And just like that, we have got them stuffed. And then for the rest of them, just a spoonful of time and keep going until you fill them up. Alright, now we've got them roughly even. You can leave the tops plain or you can put stuff on them. It's totally up to you. So what I'm going to do, so I'm going to get a little bit of the pizza cheese and I'll sprinkle it over the top of the stuffed ones. And then I'm going to get some chives. If you've got your fresh ones, you can put them over. I'm just going to put a few little dry chives over all of them. I'm going to put sesame seeds on a few. I'm going to put poppy seeds on a few. And I'm going to leave the rest plain. Now our oven should be hot enough. Bang them in there. Alrighty, 25 minutes later in my plain electric oven. Mate, it smells good up in here. <laughs> Alright, so I'm glad I only put cheese on a couple of them just so I can show you. So the cheese ones looked ready a good five minutes ago because of the cheese on top. But the other ones told me that they were nowhere near ready. So if you're covering them all with cheese, you want a nice dark coloured cheese. The best way is just to feel them. They feel hard, you know you're done. Alright, so just grab a spoon and go around and loosen them. Oh, the other tip too with the stuffed ones. Lucky they just stopped at the edges, but I didn't even think about that. Maybe put a tray under them if you're going to stuff them. Just so if any does go off, it won't end up in the bottom of your oven. Alright, once they're done, grab a tea towel, lift it up nice and high, and just pull them out. I love the crunch on the outside of these. Oh, these are heaps like the, I think it was herb scones I did the other week. They're heaps like similar, but different. Oh my god, they're amazing. Alright, let's crack open a cheese one while they're hot. Look at this. Are you watching this? <laughs> oh my god, mate. That's insanely beautiful. <laughs> well, there you have it, lovelies. Stuffed or just smothered in butter. <laughs> I can't stress how nice these are, eh? You've got to give them a crack. Your whole family's going to love them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have yourselves a safe and awesome weekend. And I'll see you all on Monday. Toodles!